bag's too loose this morning, but that's all right. Let's stick at it. Oh, that crop had come from a long way away to hit that. <clears throat> I shot it in there. I saw my jig. I was probably 10 feet short of those crappie. And I just saw one come blazing over there to it. Sure enough, he nailed it. Nice one for number one this morning. Black nose. 11 and a half, 12 inch. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, today, uh, beautiful fall day, man. It's, it's really pretty out here. The leaves are finally turning on the trees. The water temperature is getting on down there. It's about 69 degree water temperature. Uh, we got a big cold front coming in tonight. Gonna be getting down into the high 20s. So um, I'm trying to kind of beat the head end of this front and I'm hoping the crappie are gonna be biting today with this front blowing in here. It's a little bit windy, uh, but stay tuned. I think we can catch a few. That's a big crappie. I was beginning to think it was a bass the way it was running like crazy, but what it is, there's a cable down in there. I came across that cable and wham, he nailed it. Here, boy. That's a pretty one. There is a absolute pile of them in there. They're just being particular try to show y'all what I'm looking at here on active target. There's a brush pile and there's a cable that runs through there. And that's what these crappie are relating to. Look at all those crappie right there. You can see the cable running off of that dock. That is a pile of crappie. Let's see if we can get another one. Another good one. Yep, that's a big one. Get him out here in the sun so y'all can see him. <clears throat> I mean a slab. Look at that, hooked him right in the top of the head. And you hook them like that, that's what I like about that double cross jig head. You hook them like that, dude. They ain't going anywhere. Got it out. They're starting to, starting to fatten up and put that feed bag on. The colder it gets, the more they'll fatten up. The water temperature is down to 69.9, so we're definitely getting there, but It'll only get better from here. I'll show y'all how I tie a loop knot real quick. Several different ways of doing it. This may not be the way that works for you, but it works for me, so I'm gonna show you. Go through the eye of the hook, give yourself about five to six inches. Take your finger and just split the difference right in the middle. Catch that jig between your middle finger the palm of your hand, wrap one, two, three. Now you got a loop right here, okay? Take your jig head back through that loop and let that line rest on the eye of that jig head and let that all kind of cinch down a little bit. Now, right before it cinches all the way down, it'll cinch it all the way down because you want to take all those lines, pop them, pop them back over the eye of that hook and then cinch everything down. So you've got less than a half inch loop there. 
and if you try real hard you can get it even closer than that but that right there will work just perfect i like a loop knot when i'm crappie fishing in my opinion it gets you more bites it lets your jig say stay, stay straight all the time tell you what let's try something i have not tried yet this fall which this is only the i think this is only the second time i've been crappie fishing this fall but got these slab bites and I know a lot of you guys use those things so we got a big school of crappie right here we're gonna stick one of these bad boys on there and see if it'll get us a bite so let's give it a try I caught some good fish on these things last year they definitely do work so let's just give them a try and see what happens There he is. That did not take long with that slab bite on there. Mm, another good cropping. Look at him come up and jump. I don't know if I should swing that one. That's a pretty good one. Come here, boy. Ah, come here. Look at that big son of a gun. I'm not getting a ton of bites this morning, but boy, they are some nice ones. That's pretty cool right there. I've been fishing for this school for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. I've caught a couple of them. Put that slab bite on there. And like my second cast, I catch a good one. Those things, they really will get you a couple of extra bites. I mean, I... I gotta say, I saw it last year, and I mean, the proof is in the pudding, you know. Yes. Oh, wow. Feels like another dang big one. <laughs> he ain't no bigger than the last ones. He's just mean. I think we can flip this one. Yeah. It is a dang good one, though. Well, he's thick. That's why he was fighting so good. Look how thick he is. All of them are big black noses. This, this particular lake and really this particular area that I live in, in, in Middle Tennessee, a lot of our lakes have those black nose crappie. They're, the, they're some form of a hybrid crappie and they stack them in our, uh, they stock them in our lakes. Man, they are really cool fish, super feisty. They fight really hard. They grow really fast. Um, so definitely fun. Let's put us another slap out on. We'll get in there and see if we can catch another one. Get it on the fall. A lot of times that'll happen when you're fishing a, a big school of crappie like that. You'll have one that sees it coming down and they're, they're super competitive, they're super aggressive. Now see, that's just a normal black crappie no black nose we have those two and we have a few white crappie i know he's 10 inches but just so so nobody tries to say he's not see he's 
and that'll tell you how big the rest of those are because that one's over 11 inches right there so the ones i've been catching are <laughs> like 13 and 14 but he sure did when i tightened up on it he had it he was going with it This ain't a crappie here. Different species. Big old fat yellow bass. Let's get him out here in the sun so y'all can see him. Well, these, you'll catch them a good bit this time of year on these lakes around me because they, they sit right in there with the schools of crappie. And they're good to eat. They're pretty good eating little fish. Not, not as good as crappie, but they're decent. They feed on bait and stuff, just like a crappie does. If you ever catch one of these, watch these gill plates right here. Those gill plates right there will cut you just like a razor. So always, if you get them, get them by the lip and don't grab them by the, the gills because they'll cut you. But pretty cool little fish. Found me a new school right here. Got a bunch in it. Don't know what size they're going to be. That in there is going to be too small. Probably nine and a half inch. Or... Certainly a pile of them in there though. Y'all can see them right there on active target. I'm going to go back in there. See if we can get another one. I'm sure there there will be some big ones in there somewhere. That one feels a little better. That's a nice one. Get up in here. <clears throat> Another pretty good one right there. It looks like a white crappie. I think. I'm not mistaken. I believe that is a white crappie black crappie hybrid because he's got bars going this way and he's got the the speckles across the top of his back so he looks like a black kind of on this side and then on this side he looks like a white hmm. it's an interesting fish pretty one There's a crappie, little guy. Oh, come here, little fella. Little fella, about an eight incher. Another one about that same size, a little seven eight incher. A lot of times with crappie, when you uh, you find a school like that, they'll kind of be school by size. Catching a lot of little ones, you'll catch mostly little ones. Catching a lot of big ones, a lot of times it'll be all big ones. It's kind of funny how that works, but. 
I'm sure there's a big one or two in that school right there on that column, but for the most part, they're pretty small, I think. Got something big on here, boys and girls. I don't know what we got. It ain't a crappie. It ain't a bass. I got a, I got a real good idea what it is. <laughs> and it's gonna take a while on four pound line, but that's all right. I got all day. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna throw a guess out there. This is gonna be a big old flathead catfish. That's what this is gonna be. I hope I get him in for y'all. This, this happens from time to time. I've, I've, I've done this a few times. Gosh, this is a big song guy. I mean, I hadn't even moved him. I'm gonna have to chase him all over this creek to get him in, but I've done this several times in the, over the course of crappie fishing, you know, over the years. What happens is you'll get a school of crappie like that and one of these big flatheads will get in that school and feed on those crappie. And uh, I've seen it before. I mean, I've caught 25, 30 pound flatheads on four pound line. It's just a food chain deal is all it is. Big son of a gun, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take my time with him, but I'm gonna try my best to get him in for y'all because this is a big one. Yep, big old flathead. Y'all look over there. Ain't that something? You big son of a gun, come here. I guarantee, guarantee, if I was to take that fish right there home, which flathead catfish is really good to eat, but I got several crappie in there, so I ain't gonna mess with them. But I guarantee if I was to take that fish home and fillet him, in his belly, I guarantee he's got crappie in his belly. They eat the heck out of them. They're about like the shark of fresh water. They'll eat, eat anything they can get in their mouth. And they got a big mouth, as you can see. <laughs> Look at that. A little jig head just fell right out. Oh! Oh, now check that out. I don't know about y'all, but I think they're one of the coolest fish that swims in the water. A flathead is a predator. And you'll hear people say they won't eat dead bait. And that's, that's partially true. They will absolutely eat dead bait. You can catch them on cut bait, but they eat a lot more live stuff than a channel or a blue cat does. Um, but man, they're just a beautiful fish. He's healthy too. This lake's got some big ones in it. It's got some a lot bigger than that one. That one probably weighs, uh, he's probably 15 pounds, I would imagine. 12, 15 pounds, but he was just in there with them crappie. Eating him one whenever he got ready. Let's put him back. I ain't gonna keep him today. Like I said, they are good to eat, but I'm gonna let her go. There she goes. <laughs> now that just goes to show you, if you'll be patient, you can catch some really, really big fish on light tackle. That's four pound vicious, high-vis mono. 
right there's the spool a four pound vicious pan fish i just re-spooled it this morning got that big catfish on it well, that wasn't what we were after but that was fun all right everybody that is going to wrap it up for today just left the ramp um fish probably i don't know five or six hours today and, and caught a fair amount i didn't quite get a limit our limit's 15 in tennessee i think i've probably got a dozen or so in there so it's certainly not a bad day uh caught some really nice ones uh the wind kind of got got up there at the last it seems like every time i've got to go crappie fishing here lately it's been on a windy day but um definitely showing signs of it getting better like i said the water temperature is down about 69 um 70 degrees so these next couple of nights will really do a lot for bunching these fish up the the lakes are just now starting to get drawn down some so i expect the schools of fish to get bigger and bigger from here um and they'll get more active they'll start biting a lot better too but um hope you guys are catching a bunch of them i appreciate you watching i'll see you right here next time we'll do some more crappie fishing Thank y'all.